everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a super fun video for you guys today. I think it's super fun because I'm gonna be sharing with you all things that I have picked up in the last few weeks for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then just all of the other good deals that have been going around online lately. I have tons of stuff. And before you think this may be a typical Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul where it's like TVs or you know something really crazy expensive, it really isn't. I do like to get really good deals on high price items when I can, but I also get just as excited about saving money on toothpaste and razors and things like that. So there's definitely a mix of things in here. I think the most expensive thing is around $170 and I'm like right down to just a couple dollars. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything I picked up. I'm gonna be giving you prices and the deal that was going on, the coupon that was going on, and pretty much up to exactly what I paid for things and also how much cash back I got with Rakuten because you guys know that I love Rakuten. This video is not sponsored, but I figured since I'm talking about all this online shopping, it'll be a good time to show you really how it works and how quickly it can add up into your account and you're gonna get that money back every quarter in the form of a check. So that is gonna be part of what I'm telling you in today's video. I've got all my notes written out here. I try to keep track of what I spent and the coupons I had and what I paid and what I got back with Rakuten. So I thought that'd be a really fun way to kind of show you all the stuff I got, but still doing it in ways that save me as much money as possible. So, um, I'll start with one of the more boring things, at least in my opinion, because it's not for me, but it's exciting because I did get a good deal on this. My husband has a, has a Keurig and his favorite coffee is this Laughing Man um, dark roast coffee. It's actually getting really hard to find, but you know how much K-cups are. K-cups are not cheap and he only drinks this particular brand. So we go through this, this size box at least usually around two a month, like maybe one and a half a month. So it's expensive even though it's cheaper than going to Starbucks. So Bed Bath & Beyond had a deal where these were on sale for $16 and then they were 20% off your entire purchase. So what would have cost me, I think, I've got everything written down here by the way. So as, as dumb as it sounds, I got five boxes of these and that would have normally cost $150, but because they were on sale and because I had the 20% off coupon, I only paid, and I say only paid 80. I realize that's an obscene amount for coffee, but there are 44 K cups in each box and that's five boxes. So that will last him quite a while. Um, so it's one of those things that sometimes you have to spend a little bit more upfront, but it's really a good deal in the long run. So I did that. And then also Rakuten had, I forgot what percentage back. So I got, uh, $3.20 back by going through Rakuten.com first. So really that saved me even more money. So five boxes of these, this will last him for quite a while. So I am excited that he's gonna have these. I also needed another memory card as a YouTuber and somebody who takes lots of home videos. You can never have enough memory cards. This is a 128 gigabyte memory card and it was on sale for $14.99, regularly $40. And then I had a $5 reward. So I paid 10 bucks for this. And then also we use PlayStations in our house for um, Blu-ray players and DVD players just because my husband, whenever he gets a new PlayStation to do his gaming on, we like pass down the old one to the downstairs TV as the Blu-ray DVD player. Well, for whatever reason, the PlayStation we had down there, the Blu-ray part of it like fizzled out and it would only play regular DVDs. So, um... I didn't want to buy a really expensive Blu-ray player because next year my husband's planning to get the PlayStation 5 and when that happens we'll, we'll put the PlayStation he's using now downstairs and it works fine for Blu-rays and DVDs. So really this was just a temporary um, Blu-ray player we needed to get just to tide us over until next year when the new PlayStation comes out. So I did find this one um, at Target. It was like a Black Friday deal. It was regularly $79.99 and it was on sale for $50.34, that's with tax. And then I had 1% cash back with Rakuten, so not very much back with that, but still every little bit helps. So uh, I do have this, it is working well so far and that was a lot cheaper to buy that than it was gonna be to buy a more expensive Blu-ray player or another PlayStation. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and if you don't already, you really should, I will have it linked for you guys in the description box. It's a place to nest Becky over there on Instagram. Not too long ago, I did two nail polish orders and I said then that I was gonna try really hard not to buy any nail polish for Black Friday, but I didn't succeed. And technically it wasn't Black Friday. Zoya actually had a coupon that came out the week before Thanksgiving that I actually got the colors that I wanted for this. Actually, I think the deal was better the week before Thanksgiving than it was actually on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So if you guys don't know already, I love Zoya nail polish. It is a healthier alternative to conventional nail polish. It doesn't have formaldehyde and all those kind of gross things in it. 
Um, it's the only nail polish that I let my girls use and it's getting to be the point where I'm getting to the point where I'm trying to really phase out all of my old conventional nail polish and only use Zoya or Julep. So I knew that every year Zoya does a big Black Friday sale. They actually have quite a few sales all year long. So make sure if you're interested in their nail polish that you sign up for their email and you follow them on Instagram because they always post on there when they have sales. Basically the deal they had was if you bought, um, if you paid shipping, you got two nail polishes for free. So I have an account and my husband actually has an account, I guess, for when he buys me things. So I use both accounts. I just paid the shipping, so it was $6.95 for two polishes. They're normally $10 a piece. So that is a really, really good savings. And I got, this is actually a spring and summer color, but I couldn't resist. It's called Kiki. Just a really pretty bright blue pink with sparkles. I also got this one, which is Lael, I guess. I don't know how to say it. L-A-E-L. Not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's a really, really dark uh, burgundy kind of purpley color. This one is called Nika. It's really unique. I'm trying really hard to get colors that I don't have a million things like them. It is a really grayish kind of purple with a um, kind of a gold undertone shimmer in it. So I thought that was really pretty and different. And the last one I got is Gem, J-E-M. And this is actually the one that I've got on my nails right now, if you can see. It's a really, really neat color. It's got some gold undertones to it. It's kind of like a red and a burgundy mixed together. So I really like that. And I like the name too, because it reminds me of that show that was out in like the eighties called Gem and the rock stars or whatever. That was like my favorite show. I loved it. So that's a really good deal for those polishes and they have sales all throughout the year. They have a really big one for earth day as well. So if you are going to be looking for more nail polish to add to your collection or to give as gifts, stocking stuffers, Easter baskets, you know, neighbor gifts, coworker gifts. It's a great way to stock up when they have a sale like that. So I got those. Also, I got some Mrs. Meyers hand soaps. I really love the hand soaps and I, I usually get those things from Grove Collaborative, but I, they were having a sale on Mrs. Meyers website for 10% off and free shipping. So it was a better deal to get it from Mrs. Meyers in that case. And I ordered three of the peppermint uh, hand soaps, one for each bathroom. Well, annoyingly enough, I ordered them on November 29th. And as of today, December 11th, they still have not arrived and they were not even shipped. Like they generated a label and then it never, it never got shipped. So I called them, they are sending me a replacement order, but it didn't come in in time to share with you guys this video. But I wanted to let you know that, you know, Grove Collaborative is a great way to get, a great place to get your natural cleaning products. You can get them at Target, but I did go ahead and get them from Mrs. Myers, and I will say my experience was not that great. Um, just as far as how long I had to wait and then nothing ever showed up. But it is nice that they're going to replace it. I just don't have it to share with you guys in this video. But I wanted to let you know that there are coupons on, and sales, I guess, on their website sometimes. So it may be worth looking into if you like Mrs. Meyer's cleaning products. Okay, the next two things that I got, I actually got from JCPenney. Um, it was Cyber Monday or the week after that. I don't remember. I have been needing some new Pyrex uh, storage bowls. I actually mostly needed lids more than anything, but it was gonna cost as much to repurchase new lids as it was to buy this entire 18 piece set. So you get nine bowls and nine lids and they were on sale for $24.74 and that was with a 25% off coupon and then there's a $15 rebate. So it's gonna cost me around what, nine something, $10 for this entire set. So it was definitely cheaper to do this to get a whole new set than it was to buy replacement lids and it wouldn't hurt to have a few extra bowls. So I did pick that up. I already submitted my rebate and that'll be coming here in the next few weeks. Also, um, I got this knife set. I don't really use a lot of knives. I'm not a very adventurous cook. So I really just need like a paring knife and maybe a chef knife, but this was an entire kit and it was just as cheap or cheaper to buy this entire set than it was to just get one knife. So this is the Cuisinart Advantage 12 piece knife 12 piece knife kit. It was $16.49 with that 25% off coupon. And then there's a $14 rebate. So like three bucks, I have an entire 12 piece knife kit set, knife set. So that was an awesome deal. And then going through Rakuten, I actually got $4.12 back just for those two things. So you take into consideration the 25% off coupon and the two rebates and how much I'm getting back with Rakuten.com. I actually spent $8.11 for a brand new 18 piece set Pyrex dish set and then also the Cuisinart 12 piece knife kit. So pretty amazing if I do say so myself. The next thing I'm gonna share with you guys, I'm not even sure I'm gonna keep, 
but because it was a fairly good deal i went ahead and got it and there is a three month return policy so if i don't end up liking it or using it then i can return it but i figured i should go ahead and get it now while i can this is the new face mini i don't know how i feel about this if you don't know what a new face is it's basically a little machine that you use like every day for a certain amount of time and then you can like taper off after a certain amount of time but you basically do it all over your face and in in your neck in a certain formation and it's supposed to like send a microcurrent through your face that helps to tighten up your muscles in your face and make you look younger it sounds ridiculous as i'm saying it out loud it definitely has mixed reviews some people love it some people say it didn't do a thing for them it is somewhat time intensive like i said especially in the beginning i can't get it open so i'm just gonna hold the box um i think it's like 15 minutes a day for like six weeks or something i may be totally wrong but i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna make it to do that every single day so that's kind of my first thing and then the second thing is if the results are only temporary then if i ever stop using it i'm gonna start looking older again so i don't really know how i feel about it but it was on sale for like 170 normally i think it's around 200 so and then i think with this kit that i got from qvc you actually get a, an extra bottle of gel that you have to use with it so i went ahead and got it i went through rakuten i got the cyber monday price sale and it was on six easy payments so as far as saving money and doing a good job with that i think i did but then am i going to use it is it going to work i don't know and with that one, I only earned $1.60 back with Rakuten. So not very much savings there. Certain stores have a higher percentage than others. Um, and then, yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. But, but there are a lot of times when Rakuten has really good extra like bonus cash back, which is what I'm going to talk about in a minute, where you get like 8%, 10%, 20% cash back on your purchase. Um, so if that, when I actually originally looked at the new face on QVC, there was 10% cash back. Unfortunately, by the time I went back to get it, it was down to 1%, but it's okay. I'm just not going to let that bother me. <laughs> but speaking of 20% cash back, okay, this stuff is boring and you guys are going to be like, why are you showing this in a Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul? Well, because like I said, sometimes I get just as excited about saving money on basics as I do expensive things because the basics are the things that you're buying the most you're buying them repeatedly you're always running out of them and sometimes they can be expensive so i like getting good deals on stuff that i'm using every single day so walgreens on cyber monday had 20 percent cash back um, and then everything i believe that was on that was regular price i think was also 20 or 30 percent off i can't remember and then they have um, manufacturer coupons you can use on their website so i ended up getting back um a five dollar reward from walgreens for getting some of this stuff and then i also earned like twelve dollars in rakuten cash back so i spent 58.58 on the walgreens website but i got back 11.71 with rakuten and that five dollar reward so a really good deal on stuff that we need around the house don't laugh at me i'm sorry i'm showing you this i feel embarrassed but anyway three tubes of toothpaste my husband and my favorite toothpaste um, I bought these three. They were on sale for, um, they were 30% off and then I had the 20% cash back and then there was a $5 reward. So that made them like really, really cheap. I also got some contact solution, which was $18.99 with 30% off, 20% cash back on that. Some Clorox toilet wand refills. This is the 10 pack and it was, um, $3.98 with 30% off and 20% cash back. And we use those every single time we clean out any of the toilets. Also, I make up remover. There was a manufacturer coupon and they were 30% off and I got the 20% cash back. So um, $10.48 minus the $4 coupon, which made them $6.48. And then I got 20% cash back for two of the Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup removers. We go through that like water around here with me and my oldest daughter wearing makeup. It goes pretty quickly. This is probably the most embarrassing thing to show you, but if you are a girl and you use pads for feminine protection, then you know they're expensive. So they were um, $14.98 minus the $3 coupon, so $11.98, and then 20% cash back. So that was a really good deal for two of these uh, bags of pads. And then I also got my favorite um, base coat, which is the Orly Bonder, which is a rubberized base coat. It was $8.99 with 30% off on top of that. And then I got 20% on top of that with Rakuten. 
And then I got two of these. One of them is actually in the kitchen. I've never tried these before. You guys may know that I use all stainless steel cookware and sometimes it's really hard to get things off. And I've been using like a little Brillo pad, but I like that this one has a handle so I don't have to ruin my fingernails scrubbing on things. Um, they were $3.98 for both of them. And then I had the 30% off on top of that and then 20% cash back on top of that. I think that's everything from Walgreens. All in all, I spent after the sale and the coupon and the Rakuten cash back and the $5 reward, basically I got all of that for $41.87, which is a really good deal because the contact solution alone was almost $19. So I got all of that stuff. So that was really exciting, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm the most boring person in the world. Okay, more practical things that I got from Target. I actually got four of these four packs of razors. They were $5.89 and then I got four of them. So it was $23.56. There was a 25% off um, coupon or something. So it made them $17.67 for all four packages. And then you got a $5 gift card on top of that. That's a really good deal for those. I think they were doing a 25% off any beauty personal care product purchase. I think that's what it was. So I got two of our facial cleansers that me and the girls both use these. This is the Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleanser. $5.29 a piece. I got two of those. So it was $10.58 minus the 25% coupon. So it made $7.94 for both, which is a really good price. And I also got this eyelash serum that I've been using. It's the DHC Eyelash Tonic. My eyelashes have been falling out and being crazy. And so I had tried a couple before I got to this point. This one so far seems to be working the best. Um, and it's $11.99. I had the 25% off coupon, so it made it $9 for that. And I don't know how much I got back with Rakuten. It wasn't much because Target usually only has about 1% cash back. So I didn't get very much back with that one. So I did get another one of those. I've already got one in the bathroom and that one's just kind of a backup. Okay, the next thing to share with you guys is my favorite candle of all time. This is the Bath and Body Works Hot Cocoa and Cream. They named it Ski Lodge this year. I got two of these. They recently had their candle day sale where like all the candles were like $9 and something. And I had a coupon that you bought anything, you got something else for free. So I ended up basically paying $10.41 for two of these. So a little over $5 a piece is a really great price. And I love this candle and I like to get some every single year to stock up. So I got two of those and I like the jar this year. I thought it was really cute with like the little white snowy kind of icingy looking lid. I thought that was really cute. Okay, a few things from Amazon and I've talked about this before. This wasn't a particularly good deal for what I've paid before for it, but the reason it's a good deal is because if you guys have a Sonic toothbrush, then you know how expensive those replacement brush heads are. And I got so tired of paying like $15 a piece for one brush head for our Sonic toothbrushes. And so I get ours from Amazon. This is just a knockoff brand. We've been using this one for about a year and I love them. You actually get six in a package for I think around $19. Yeah, $18.01 for six brush heads. So a huge value. I don't notice any difference in the amount of time that they last or the cleanliness of my teeth with these versus the expensive brand you get from Philips. So definitely recommend if you guys have a Sonic toothbrush, check Amazon because there are companies that sell knockoff replacement heads for pretty much every Sonic toothbrush out there so that you don't have to pay that ridiculous price for the name brand anymore. The last thing from Amazon are these books and I have talked about these years and years and years ago. I had actually gotten one of these for my oldest daughter for her Easter basket several years ago. And now that my youngest is nine, um, almost 10, I think probably by Easter, she's gonna really appreciate something like this. So I'm gonna, I got this for her Easter basket because it was like half price. I think I paid around $5 for this. I had paid regular price for it when I got it for my oldest. So I was really excited to see this for $5. This is the Young Writers Edition Letters to Me When I Grow Up. And basically it is a little book with all of these different little writing prompt envelopes that you can fill out and then seal them back up and then don't open it again until you get older. So it's kind of like a time capsule of memories. There's all these different prompts. My room is like this. When I was little, my friends and I love to, I know it by heart. If I became a world leader, this is what's on my mind right now. And then you write when you sealed it and then you can open it back up later. So super cute. My oldest daughter still has hers. She has written, I think pretty much all of them. And it's gonna be something that's so funny for her to open back up one day and look at. So I got that for my youngest for Easter. Yes, I know, I said Easter, I'm already shopping for Easter. And then I thought, you know, kind of along the same lines, um, I got these for my parents. This is the letters to my dad and letters to my mom. So I thought, 
Maybe by the time Mother's Day rolls around, I'll have time to have written all of her letters and then for Father's Day, maybe write a letter for him. So same thing, but obviously for more adults. This one is a special memory I have of you is. From you, I learned the importance of. I always think of you when. I love that our family is. You know, all different types of writing prompts. So I thought that would make a really good Mother's Day, Father's Day gift. So I plan on working on these and they were a really great price. So I love these and I will link them for you guys in the description box. So that is everything that I purchased in the last few weeks with all the different sales that are going on, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and just general good deals that are going on with different websites and the bonus cash back with, with, uh, with Rakuten. I saved a lot of money and I earned quite a bit of money cash back. I think if I totaled it all up, it was around $20 that I'm gonna be getting cash back in my Rakuten account just for buying things I was gonna buy anyway that I already got good deals on, but I was still able to get even better deals on because I'm gonna get that cash back. So highly, highly recommend Rakuten if you guys don't already have an account. I don't know where you've been because I've been talking about it so much this Christmas season. I know a lot of other YouTubers are talking about it because it's a great website. It is free to sign up, it's free to use. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use it. And as you can see, you can still use coupons and sales and rebates and still get that cash back in your account that they're gonna give you in the form of a check every quarter. My only main recommendation other than signing up for Rakuten would be to download the Rakuten um, button for your browser. It's really simple to download it and it goes up on your browser as a little extension. That way, anytime you're shopping online at any of the over 2,000 retailers that participate with Rakuten, it's gonna kind of light up and remind you to click that and sign into your Rakuten account so that you can get cash back on that purchase. So that's really good for people that forget to use Rakuten. I know a lot of you guys have told me that you've signed up for it, but you forget to use it. Um, it's really an easy way to uh, make sure you're not forgetting to get that cash back whenever you purchase online. Make sure you check out my gift guide videos from 2019. I had, um, let's see, five, six, seven gift guide videos go up. Um, the six of them are for kids, and then the one is for the men in your life, so definitely check those out. I'll have them linked for you in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.